Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachuk. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today I will be sharing with you some basic things about dental anatomy. Now many times dental students when they enter dentistry, it's very difficult to understand the basic terms. So I have this cast in front of me. It is a dental cast. Okay. The impression is taken from the patient and dental stone is poured to get these cast. You will learn all these things later on. Let's first see these cast okay so the upper one this one this is the maxillary cast okay so upper is the maxilla and the lower is the mandibular right so these are the maxillary and the mandibular cast in your exam a cast will be kept and you'll be asked to write about it right so the first thing that you'll write is that is it a maxillary or a mandibular cast now how will you understand whether it's a maxillary or a mandibular remember that in the maxillary cast you will see these rugae okay so these rugae are there palatal rugae this is the palate okay and palatal rugae can be seen so if you see the rugae right this is the palate and therefore it is the maxillary cast Okay, now in case of mandible, there will be space for the tongue that is the, this, this space. So in this, there will be a space for the tongue. Okay, so this is the mandible and there will be no palatal rugae and all. So this is the mandibular cast. Okay, now first let's see these upper and lower teeth or the arches they are divided into four quadrants okay what are the four quadrants if i uh, divide it from the midline here right and also the occlusal plane i divide so there will be four quadrant this is the first quadrant okay first quadrant is upper right if i see if this is my patient okay this is my patient and this is the right side of the patient okay and this is the upper one so if it is the first quadrant the left side, upper left is the second quadrant. Okay. Now the third is the, the third quadrant is the lower left and the lower right is the, so always think in relationship to the patient. Okay. If this is a patient sitting in front of me and this is the right side of the patient, the upper right is the first quadrant. The upper left is the second quadrant. The lower left is the third quadrant and the lower right is the fourth quadrant of the patient. Okay. In each quadrant. Okay. Let me talk about one quadrant. The upper right quadrant. That is the first quadrant. In each quadrant, there are eight teeth in permanent dentition. So, if I see this cast, there are eight teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. On each quadrant, in the permanent dentition, usually there can be sometimes some differentiation, but usually there are eight teeth on each side or each quadrant. These are my eight teeth in the upper right quadrant. Sometimes depending upon the age of the patient, the last tooth is not yet erupted. Okay. And these are eight teeth on the upper left. Similarly, when I see the lower quadrant, these, this is my third quadrant, right? Lower left quadrant. Again, there are eight teeth on this side and there are 8 teeth on other side. So, they are in total normally 32 teeth. Sometimes wisdom tooth is not there. The last tooth. Okay. So, this is my permanent dentition. So, now at least I know during my examination, this is a permanent maxillary cast. Right. We know permanent because there are these permanent teeth according to size of the arch, according to size of the teeth and the number of the teeth. And this is the permanent mandibular arch. Okay. Now, you should also know the types of teeth and the surfaces of the teeth. Okay. To brief, you have two incisors on each side. Okay. So, this is my midline. Okay. So, if I go towards one side, let's read one side, then we'll un automatically understand the other side. If this is my one side, okay, on one side or in one quadrant, there are two incisors. Okay. So, this is the central incisor towards the central and away from it is the lateral incisor okay so central incisor lateral incisor on one side then there is a canine it is single okay so there is a canine then in permanent dentition okay there are two premolars these are the premolars and then there are three molars sometimes this last third molar is not erupted okay or it is not present in the patient so these are the 
eight teeth on one side. Okay, so two incisors, one canine, two premolars, and three molars are there. Okay, so these are the teeth. Again, similarly on the other side as well. Fine. Then these teeth, they have now these three teeth: central incisor, lateral incisor, central. It's, it is towards the center, towards the midline. So central incisor. and laterally to it towards the side lateral means towards the side away from it there is lateral incisor there is a canine these three teeth are called as the anterior teeth and premolars why premolars because they are before the molar so they are called as premolars premolars these two premolars and these three molars they are the posterior teeth so these are the three anterior teeth each quadrant i'm talking about three anterior teeth and five posterior teeth on each quadrant in total there are eight teeth on each side okay and these uh, incisors let's see the surfaces of the teeth now okay so the surface which is towards the if you can imagine this is a patient that surface which is towards the uh, face this is the facial surface so all these teeth these surface this surface towards the face is the facial surface again now the facial surface is of divided into two types for anterior teeth that is central incisor lateral incisor and canine these uh, facial surfaces they are also called as labial why labial because it is towards the lip of the patient okay so labial and the facial surface of the posterior teeth it is called as buccal uh, surface why buccal surface because it's towards the cheek so all these teeth this surface towards the uh, outside towards the face these are called as facial surface this is the facial surface of the teeth but further it can be divided into for anterior teeth we can also call this labial surface because it is towards the lip and for posterior teeth we can also called it as buccal surface because it is towards the cheek okay now if i talk about the maxilla the inner surface the surface that is towards the palate this surface these surfaces they are called as palatal surface because they are towards the palate right then okay so facial surface palatal surface now for anterior teeth this is the incisal surface okay the one that will uh, be Uh, associated with, with biting of the teeth this is the uh, incisal surface and for posterior teeth that is premolars and molars the biting surface will be called as the occlusal surface this is the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth one more thing the surface of the tooth which is towards the midline right this is the mesial surface and the surface of any tooth away from the midline is the distal surface so mesial and distal and both mesial and distal surface they come under proximal surface proximal means that is in proximity to other teeth that is uh, you know in association with other teeth okay so this is the proximal surface so mesial and distal so now how many surfaces are present in a tooth there are five surfaces there is a facial surface okay or to be more specific if i am talking about this central incisor a labial surface then towards the palate is the palatal surface okay then there is this incisal surface then towards uh, in kind of proximal surface are there so there is a towards the midline will be mesial surface uh, away from the midline will be the distal surface so there are five surface of each teeth only for posterior teeth remember that instead of incisal surface it will be occlusal surface one more thing similar surfaces will be there for the mandibular cast but in the mandibular just remember instead of calling the these inner surfaces as the palatal surface we will call these surfaces as the lingual surface why because they are towards the tongue not towards the palate so this these surfaces will be the lingual surface rest all surfaces will be the same you know facial surface lingual surface incisal surface mesial surface towards the midline distal surface away from the midline okay so i hope uh, the surfaces are clear to you and the number of teeth as well so just for comparison i am showing you it is not a very good cast but i am just showing you a cast of a primary dentition so uh, the size of the cast is uh, smaller uh, the arch is smaller right it's a child patient okay as we compare it with a uh, uh, this it's a child patient okay sometimes a primary cast is also kept so you have to see the size of the cast then you can also see the teeth right uh, of the uh, teeth that are present okay 
so in this case so the teeth are smaller in size fine just for comparison i am showing you a primary cast and remember in case of primary dentition there are no premolars so only there is a central incisor lateral incisor canine and two molars are there okay i hope this video was helpful to you help you understand some basic terms about dental anatomy you will be able to identify a uh, cast dental cast in your practical examination and uh, you'll be able to write about it whether it's a maxillary or mandibular or it is a permanent or a primary dentition if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it takes lots of effort to make such videos and if you want another video on tooth numbering system the similar way on the cast by explaining on the cast how is the tooth numbering done please let me know the same if you want to join my regular dental classes you can Uh, contact me on the number mentioned on the screen for dental books also i have shared a link below in the description box if you need uh, my suggested dental books you can uh, check them out as well the link for the same is mentioned below in the description box thank you